In the previous episode of Random Stuff, we introduced new designs for 8 and 16-bit hex displays, these breadboard-mountable PCBs that can display 16-bit and 8-bit values in hexadecimal. And the good news is they worked, the designs worked fine. The bad news was in the four-digit version, the 16-bit version, the displays are too dim because we needed lower value current limiting resistors. So in this video, which will be quite short, we will retrofit the 16-bit display with the lower value current limiting resistors. I just received a whole bunch of components from LCSE.com. That order also included some blue LED displays that I talked about in the previous video. And the good news is that they work really well. The bad news is they're not actually going to work in these boards. So in a future episode, we will come up with final designs that will work with the new blue LED displays. So the question that arises is how do we find out what is the right value of current limiting resistor? So I built this little test circuit using an Arduino and basically the Arduino is driving this LED display at 25% duty, so it's on about one fourth of the time, which is the same as it would be in the four digit 16 bit display. And these are 110 ohm resistors and I think that's about the right brightness value. So our next step is to rework the circuit board for the four digit display to take out the old 220 ohm resistors and put in 110 ohm resistors. Okay, so here is our reworked four digit display with the 110 ohm current limiting resistors. It turns out to be somewhat tricky to get surface mount components off of a board using just a soldering iron. And I managed to lift a couple of the pads. Uh, so that's the reason for these bodge wires. I actually got really lucky with the way that these particular resistors were connected to the pins of the microcontroller, which is that they were connected to the pins in the corner, which are easily the, the easiest ones to solder bodge wires onto. So, all right, let's test this out and see if it looks better. Okay, so here are the two hex displays, the four digit and the two digit, and they both basically now have about the same brightness, and it's fine. I would say it would count as acceptable. I think the contrast is not as good as it could be. It actually looks pretty good in normal lighting. I have some fairly bright overhead lights here that I use for recording video. So anyway, it's definitely significantly better than it was, but I think the real improvement will come from better displays and in particular blue displays. So let's take a look at the blue displays that I received. All right, so here's one of our blue segment displays that just arrived from lcse.com. These were about 40 cents each, which is really quite good. And basically, you know, it's a, it seems like a good display. The problem is it's actually narrower than the ones I designed the board for. So these HDSP F501s, they are 0.3 inches between the rows of pins. These displays that I got from lcst.com are only 0.2 inches between rows. And so essentially, uh, you know, these will not fit in the PCB. So that means I'm going to need to redesign the PCB. But what I can do right now is at least verify that these work and also see what kind of current limiting resistor would be good in terms of brightness. So I suppose the lesson here is when you are ordering parts, make sure that you check not only the electrical specifications such as the pinout, but also the physical dimensions to make sure that it is what you expect. All right, so in order to test one of these blue LEDs with my Arduino test circuit here, I actually mounted it on a little proto board in which I connect each of the segment display pins to a pin on a pin header. This is purely just so it will fit in the board. It would be too narrow to, to bridge this gap between the, the two sides of the, of the breadboard here. All right, so as you can see, this is really quite bright, quite noticeably brighter than the green LED displays. It's, you know, maybe not as apparent in person, but it's quite apparent on camera. Also, you notice that it looks white on camera. It is very noticeably blue in person, so it does display uh, as blue in, in real life. But in any case, I think this is really fantastic in terms of readability for filmed video. So I think this is definitely a superior LED display to use. So essentially what I'm going to need to do now is design new versions of the PCBs to fit this narrower display. In a way that's actually an advantage because it means the boards will be even smaller than the current versions that use the, the larger displays. So anyway, that will be the next step in this project. 
So in conclusion, we were able to get the green LED displays to an acceptable level of brightness by changing the current limiting resistors. So I would say at this point, it's okay. We might be able to get even better contrast by using a clear green filter over the faces of the displays that might give us better contrast. But I think the really promising direction is to use the new blue segment displays. They definitely have excellent readability both in person and on camera, but unfortunately they're too narrow for the current PCBs. So I think to really finish up this project, we need to create a new final revision of the PCBs that can use these narrower blue displays. So, you know, maybe sometime during the summer we'll get that done. Okay, I will see you in the next video.